Hi, this is Tracy with Trixie Scraps Designs. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial to show you how to import your digital content into Pastoria's Artisan Software or Creative Memories Storybook Creator. It actually just takes a couple of steps and it's pretty simple. Before I go over the actual steps involved in importing the content into your software, I wanted to cover a couple of terms that are specific to the software so that you understand the differences as we talk about them. The first term you need to be familiar with is the library. The library is the storage vault for all of your content, including both the built-in content that comes with the software and anything you may choose to import in the future. It's important to note that you can organize the folders within your library in any way that works best for you. You can organize by specific designer, specific store, colors, kit themes, Again, whatever works best for you. For me, I like to organize my library by individual designer and individual kit. I'll show you a little bit more about that when we get into the next step. The next term we need to discuss is the personal art kit, which is nothing more than a collection or a group of papers and embellishments either that you create or that you import into your software from an outside source. So the library holds all the folders that you set up and then the folders hold all of your personal art kits. And then the personal art kits, of course, hold the content, which is the individual papers and embellishments that form each individual personal art kit. OK, so now that we understand the different terms, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do these steps in Pandora's Artisan program, but the steps are exactly the same in Creative Memory Storybook Creator. Okay, let's get familiar with the library by clicking on Manage Content. Okay, so here we're in the main library view. You can see the folders down the left-hand side. You have all kits, built-in kits. Those are the ones that come with the software. Commercial art kits, installed fonts, and personal art kits. Now, my personal preference is to set up my own folders for each individual designer because that helps me keep things straight. So the first thing you need to know is that before you set up a folder, for an individual designer, that same folder needs to exist somewhere on your computer, or you can create it in this step. But if you create it in this step, it's going to be an empty folder. So let's just keep that in mind. What you need to do is go to Add Folder to Library, and then you can choose the folder that you want to add to your library. So I'm going to add my basic folder full of my designs, which is right here, Trixie Scraps Kits. Once I'm highlighted on the folder that I want, I can click OK. Now, if you don't have a folder set up for a designer, you can click this Make New Folder here, and you can do that. But mine's already set up, so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. It's going to think for a second, and it's going to add a content folder to the library with that name. OK. So now that that's done, we can click on that folder. And you'll see it's already gone through the folder and it's picked out the other folders that are in there because it wants to kind of prompt you to turn those into uh, personal art kits. So this is where we get into that step. But let's work with one that uh, I haven't done so far. Let's go do my Mr. and Mrs. Mouse kit. You see it has a question mark because I've not imported that content yet. What you need to do first is hover over this little drop down arrow and select this option that says make this folder a personal art kit. So once I do that it's going to think about it for a second and you'll see it automatically finds my preview in the folder and now we need to actually go and import the actual content. So I want to double click this. So now we're in the main view for a personal art kit. You'll see that it's organized into papers, embellishments, shapes, edges, corners, colors. For most kits that you're going to add from an individual designer you're really only going to be worried about papers and embellishments. So let's start with the papers first. We're on that tab. We want to go up to the top ribbon and click on the paper. And then we want to navigate to where we have that kit saved on our computer. So again, we're going to go back to that Trixie Scraps kits folder. We're going to find my Mr. and Mrs. Mouse folder. And of course, I organize everything in folders on my computer to keep everything straight. Um, so I want the kit papers folder. And once I'm in here, we want to select the first one 
and then you can hold down your shift key and select the last paper that you want to import. For the purposes of this tutorial, to keep it going quickly, I'm just going to do the first two. But you can select all of yours, it's just going to take a little bit longer for them to all import. So we'll do the first two, and we'll hit open, and it's going to think and work for a second, and import those two papers. Okay, so now those two papers have populated, you can actually hover over them and it pops up a little message box for you and tells you what size the paper is. And then you can also use the drop down arrow to preview it if you would like. And that'll open it in a bigger window and you can see a larger version of the paper. So that's how you do your papers. When you want to add your embellishments, you want to go to the embellishment tab. You'll see I have not added anything yet from this kit. Scroll up to the top here and go to embellishment. Then we need to change folders in my system anyway because of the way I have things organized on my computer. Where are they? Elements. And again, just for the sake of time, I'm just going to select a couple of them, but you can shift and click and do the entire folder all at once if you'd like to. Okay, so shift, click, I'm going to highlight these first four, and then we're going to click open. And those will go faster because they're generally smaller most of the time elements than paper files. So they usually do import a little bit quicker. Okay, and there we go. We have our embellishments, which I can show you a preview of those. And you can resize this preview window if you'd like. Um, you can use the zoom arrow so you can see them larger, smaller. That's basically how you add your papers and your embellishments. Uh, when you're done working with a specific kit, you can use the little close arrow over here on the right and you can go work on a new one. Make this folder an art kit. And you just work your way through your supplies and add however many kits you'd like to your software. That's what I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have other suggestions for digital scrapbooking tutorials that you'd like to see me make, or if you'd like to leave a friendly comment, you can do so below. For more free digital scrapbooking tutorials like this one, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll put the links below to all of my stores if you're interested in purchasing digital scrapbooking supplies from Trixie Scraps Designs. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.